Simplification, part two. Hi, I'm Daniel Sousa and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part two on lecture on simplification. Here's the first sum. Problem one. The number of girls in a class is five times the number of boys. Which of the following cannot be the total number of children in the class? A, 24, B, 30, C, 35, D, 42, and E, 54. All right, now the first sum they've said that the number of girls is five times the number of boys. That means that the girls are more in number when compared to the boys. We've also said now that to find out which of the following could not be the total strength of the class. Now, let us assign the smaller value by x. So, boys are less, right? So, boys denoted by x. Now, girls are five times the number of boys. So, girls are five times the number of boys. That is equal to five times x or 5x. Now, the total, right, what we are asked here, will be the sum of the boys and the girls, right? So, boys plus girls. So, this is equal to x plus 5x. So, it's equal to 6x. So, now we know that the total is equal to 6x. What this implies is that the total will be divisible by 6. That is, the total number of students is a multiple of 6. So, now you just need to go to your options and see which of the following is not a multiple of 6. 6 4s are 24, 6 5s are 30, 6 7s are 42, and 6 9s are 54. So 35 is the only one that is not divisible by 6. That means this can never be the total number of students in this classroom. Problem 2. A boy was asked to multiply a number by 25. He instead multiplied the number by 52 and got the answer 324 more than the correct answer. The number to be multiplied was... Alright, now for the second sum, what they've said is, a boy was asked to multiply some number by 25, but what he did was he multiplied it by 52 and he got 324 more than the expected answer. Now, let the number that the boy had be equal to x, right? Now, what the boy should have done is 25 into x, that is 25x. What he did do is 52 into x. Now, 52 will be greater than this, correct? So, we know that this is greater. What they said is, the answer that he got by multiplying it is 324 more than the expected answer. So basically, in this type of problems, what you need to do is form an equation, then be just one unknown, you just solve it and you get your answer. So what they're saying is 52x, right, the, the number that he actually got, minus the expected result, 25x, is equal to 324, right? Now, you can take x common here, so it'll be 52 minus 25 is equal to 324. Now, 52 minus 25 is 27. So, x is equal to 324 by 27. Right? Now, 3 1s are, uh, 3 9s are 27. 3 1s are 0, 6. Right? 8, sorry. Now, 9 1s are, 9 1s are 2. So, the answer, x is equal to 12. Now, you can verify it by multiplying it into 25 and 52 and see that the, the difference will be 324. Easy, right? Let's go on to problem number 3. Problem 3. What fraction of 4 by 7 must be added to itself to make the sum 1, 1 by 14? Alright, now the third sum what they've said is they've asked you to find out what fraction of 4 by 7 when added to itself will give you 1, 1 by 14, right? Now, you need to write the equation. The, the equation is super simple. So, itself is 4 by 7. So, the equation will be 4 by 7 plus some fraction x into 4 by 7 will be equal to a mixed fraction of 1, 1 by 14. Now, a mixed fraction, how do you do it? 1, 1 by 14 will be, you multiply these two, right? Then you add it with this. So, 1 into 14 plus 1 is 15 by 14, right? So, this is what this is equal to. So, you write 15 by 14. Now, here this is multiplied by 1, correct? This is the whole number. So, now what you'll do is, x plus 1 you'll take outside, right? And 4 by 7 is common. Is equal to 15 by 14. Now, both are the denominator here, so 7 1s are 7 2s are, right? Now, 4 you will take it down. So, x plus 1 is equal to 15. This 4 is taken down here, so 4 2s are 8, right? So, 15 by 8. Now, you take it here, x is equal to 15 by 8. This plus 1 go here, minus 1, right? So, if you take an LCM, it will be 8 here, minus 8, correct? So, this is equal to 7 by 8, implies that the fraction x is equal to 7 by 8. So, 7 by 8 of 4 by 7 plus 4 by 7 will be equal to 15 by 14. This is your final answer. Let's go to problem number 4. 
Problem 4. In an examination, a student was asked to find 3 by 14th of a certain number. By mistake, he found 3 by 4th of that number. His answer was 150 more than the correct answer. The number is... Now, the fourth sum is similar to the second sum. Now, what they've said is, the boy was asked to do 3 14th of a certain number. What he did do is he found 3 4th of it. Now, the error is he got 150 more. So, now, as you've seen in the second sum, we just form the equation directly here. So, they've said that 3 by 4th, right, of x, of some number x, right, if you would have done 3 by 14th of it, then you would have got the correct answer. But what he did is 3 by 4. So, the difference will be 150. Now, 3 by 4 is 75% roughly. So, it is more than 3 by 14. So, that's why this will come first, right? Now, I just solve it again. So, you'll take x common, 3 by 4 minus 3 by 14. Now, is equal to 150. Now, don't find the LCM digits, just multiply it directly, all right? So, if you find 4 into 14 is 56. So, 56 is directly taken here. So, 3 into 14 will be 442, right? Minus 12. This is x, right? Is equal to 150. Now, 42 minus 12 is 30. So, x into 30 divided by 56 is equal to 150, right? Now, what you can do is, 30 and 150 here, so 30 ones are 5 are, right? So x will be equal to 56 into 5. 56 into 5, 280. So implies your final answer x will be 280. Easy, right? Alright, so this is part 2 on lecture on simplification. In part 3, we'll solve many more tougher problems. If you found this lecture helpful, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you share this video among your friends and help me reach out to as many students as possible. Cheers! Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get access to all my videos. I release new lectures every Thursday. Cheers!